The Final Four was yesterday, and there were two a great game yesterday. Kansas really destroyed Villanova. Number one seed, Kansas versus number two, Villanova. The final score was Kansas 81 to 65, Villanova. Honestly, a great game from Kansas in general. They really just came out swinging offensively. I feel like their experience was a lot more. Their size really had a lot of factors in this game. The defense of Kansas was very good throughout the game, and a lot of the things that happened in this game were very entertaining to watch for Kansas fans, but Villanova fans weren't that impressed in general. And my main thing is Villanova really struggled from the three, and that was really the difference in this game. Kansas really couldn't be stopped from the three at all, and really was just, they couldn't be stopped offensively at all. No one could stop them. A lot of good, great play from OJ Obaji and just for the rest of Kansas as well. Comment down below your opinion, though. Kate's final home game, North Carolina 94 to 81 Duke. Honestly, I thought Duke was going to win that game just because it was Coach Hayes' final game, but that gave him a lot more pressure to win. And then same with this game yesterday. They really were supposed to win it because the last time they played North Carolina, they beat him in Coach Kate's final regular season game. Definitely a big deal, but I thought talent was really going to be the waiver. They had Paulo Benchero and AJ Griffin and a lot of first rounders in this year's draft for Duke. So I thought that honestly was going to be the difference talent, but honestly, Size was a big difference, and as well, Polo Benchero really couldn't get in the paint. That was the main thing, and his three-point shot for Duke was it wasn't that good. Anyone for Duke really couldn't shoot the three the whole game. North Carolina just played very well offensively. A lot of clutch free throws from North Carolina. Duke missed some free throws that were really costly at the end as well. And honestly, I feel like there were some bad calls on the outside, but North Carolina, some of the, the fouls they called weren't that good. And this was honestly a great game to watch. A lot of lead changes and very entertaining to watch. In Coach K's final game, it was a show to watch, and everyone enjoyed it. North Carolina lived up the hype. 18 lead changes, honestly very impressive, and a very good game to watch. You should have watched it. And if not, go watch the highlights right now, because that was a very good game to watch and very entertaining. Duke and UNC, 100 games have been played against each other. And Duke and North Carolina have both won 50 of those games. That's honestly insane that... It's both equal like that. And that the final Coach K's game, it became equal. Because if it was, if North Carolina lost this game, it would be 49-50. But now it's equal. And this definitely rides out on a high note for both teams. National championship game is set. It's Kansas versus North Carolina. And I think North Carolina is going to win this game 77-72. to And honestly, I think North Carolina's played a lot better game. And Herbert Davis's first season, he led them to the national championship as an eight seed. Honestly, very impressive. And I think next season, they'll probably get better recruits. And as well, still going to be a very solid team. And in my opinion, North Carolina is the better coach team. Comment down below your opinion, though. But this is going to be an insane season for North Carolina. And I, I think they're going to win it all now.